Hello, Congressman Tiberi. Thank you for taking the time to meet with the Chasing Ice team this week. I want to share with you a clip from Chasing Ice narrated by Dr. Tad Pfeffer, one of the leading glaciologists in the field, who explains the natural cycles that we've seen. And before we play this clip, I just want you to keep in mind, as you see this chart being animated, this is not a computer model or a projection. This is actual empirical data that scientists are collecting and measuring. And we know that this is a very, very strong, accurate representation of history. The Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets are these giant domes of ice that preserve climate records very much like tree rings. Snow is added to the top, turns into ice, and ice core scientists can drill holes through the ice sheets and pull out a core and examine not only the ice, but also bubbles of ancient air that are trapped in the ice. By looking at the chemistry of the ice, we can learn about past temperature, and by looking at the air, we can actually measure the carbon dioxide content. And one of the things that we learn is that past temperature and carbon dioxide vary together. They go up together, they go down together. And over the last 800,000 years or so, atmospheric carbon dioxide was never higher than about 280 parts per million, until we started adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. And now it's about 390 parts per million. And that's about 40% higher than it was when carbon dioxide was only varying for natural reasons. But now we're headed for 500 parts per million or more. Since we made this animation, we've now broken 400 parts per million in carbon dioxide. We have very strong data that this greenhouse gas effect is what is causing the changes that the scientists are observing around the planet. If you actually study all the peer-reviewed literature over the last 23 years that say anything about global warming, 0.1% of them deny that humans are causing global warming. I wanted to share with you some of the organizations that support the statement that humans are causing this round of climate change that we're seeing now. It starts off with the U.S. Climate Change Science Program that was created by President Bush and the U.S. National Academy of Science, and in fact, every major scientific organization who has members that include climate scientists, the experts that are studying this field, all say that man-made climate change is happening. The Pentagon, Walmart, Duke Energy, and even American Electric Power, the Pope, the Dalai Lama, and every major religious denomination that has a statement about climate change has acknowledged that man-made climate change is happening. We hope that you consider all of these facts and all of these different groups with their incredible reputations when you think about your stance on climate change and what we need to do for the future.